All right, everybody. Hey, welcome. This is a quick video for you guys on how to work well with ADHD. So if you're like me, you might have been diagnosed when you were a kid or you might be an adult realizing, holy smokes, I am getting distracted really easily. I'm being really tough on myself. So I've had a request from a lot of people on how to overcome working with ADHD and what you need to do. This channel is all about things with real estate in my life. And if you guys have not noticed on previous videos, your girl's got the ADHD and I want to help you out. There's been a big request for this. Before we get started, I do a video. I upload one a week with Michael Frankie usually, but there's a, few other, a little bit of other content that I'm uploading as well. I'd love to know in the comments below, if you could, after you've liked this video and you've subscribed and clicked to turn on all notifications, what you'd like to see more of. I feel my purpose in this world is to help other people be successful. So I wanna make sure that I'm helping you get to where you wanna be and I'm providing the resources that you need to succeed. So with that being said, we're gonna go over five of those tips. So let's go over here. We're gonna get started on what are the five tips that I recommend that you guys have? What will you need? What you'll need. So let's get started with, the, started with those few tasks that you're gonna need. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and to the point. Let's get in and out of this video in five minutes or less. Clear intentions. What do you want? What are you trying to accomplish? Why do you want to be there? What's the reason behind it? Have a clear why. With your clear why, what I'd say you should focus on is making sure that you understand the clear why. What is the intention with this? What are you wanting to accomplish? I am tired of not getting my tasks done. I'm tired of beating myself up for not accomplishing what I want to do. Having that clear why. And right now in this video, I'm going to ask you guys, go get a pen, go get some paper. I'm going over my notes that I took to make sure this is clear into the point. So I have clear intentions. Next, I already covered it. Notebook and a pen. Have it. I have, this is a legal pad. I have one next to my desk. I take notes a lot inside of my phone, on my notes app, and on a piece of paper. I do a lot better when I write things down. I just retain it a lot more. And there are people that are way smarter than me that went to in Stanford, and they found out if you physically write things down, you will retain it, I think, by 75%. So I like to say this little phrase, what you write is what you invite. Write it down, retain it and get to where you wanna go. So make sure you do that. And then the next thing I recommend you do is get a little timer. This is a little twist timer. You guys can set the time on, set it, forget it. I also have a few alarms on my cell phone that I use throughout the day because I will get time blind. I'll get obsessed with whatever I'm trying to accomplish and I will forget everything. So I make sure in the evening, every evening at seven o'clock, I have personal time that goes off so I can spend quality time with the ones that I love. I have a few alarms that go off in the morning. My first one, you know, to get out of bed. And then I set another one because if I get distracted by something, I'll lose track of time. So I have about five or six alarms that go off through the day, especially because I get up so early in the day. I'm tired in the afternoon. So I have another one that comes around 12, 30, 1 o'clock when I'm ready to go take an afternoon nap. And it has me go back over what my goals are because I've set those intentions. So I have a few alarms through the day. Every day I know it's 11.50 right before lunch because my alarm's gonna go off. I just, I have different ringtones for those alarms so I don't lose track of everything. So I've set those three, three things aside for yourself here. Let's see, boom. I love this one. This is so big with the ADHD because your girl has a squirrel brain sometimes. Oh my gosh, I see when people come and go. I wanna cut out as many distractions as they can. I have completely removed myself from an area that I typically work Nobody knows I'm up here. And it's really good. I also like to get up really early in the morning so I can have personal time to myself when nobody needs me. Nobody's bothering me at, and this is, I never used to be a morning person, hated it, but at four, between four to 5 a.m., nobody's awake and bothering me, and that's my own time. So I do go to sleep early now and I love it. Turn off the distractions. I keep my phone on, I have it on Do Not Disturb all the time. So right now it says focus. I only know what it is Do Not Disturb. I put it on Do Not Disturb and I keep my phone on that. So I've actually taken every single app, I go to the notifications section on my iPhone. I've turned off every alert except for Slack notifications that comes in through for my business and text messages. I have now trained everybody in my life that they need to get a hold of me, text me. If it's important, you can double and break through, but you cannot contact me. And I, I do it that way intentionally. And I don't know if you guys can even see this. My phone is face down right now. So I keep it face down just to really show whoever I'm talking to, I'm being intentional and I wanna to listen to them. Another pro tip I didn't put on here, but for turning off the distractions, to be an active listener, because if somebody, oh my gosh, coming back into how to deal with the tips for having ADHD, I don't know about you, but I cut people off and it's not because I wanna be rude and I cut them off. It's just like, if I don't say it, I'm gonna forget it. So coming back into having that pen and paper, I'll write things down, but do it, be a better listener as well. This is a tip I didn't even think of. So you're going to get six tips today. 
a tip to be a better listener to who you're talking to. I let them know I'm going to take notes, but I also reiterate what they're saying. So whatever somebody said, I say it in my head to myself, and then I repeat to uh, show that I'm understanding them because sometimes we're not on the same page for everything. So I wanted to bring that back in. All right, turn off all the distractions. I already mentioned it. Please do not disturb. I tell people don't bother me during this time. I, I don't know about you, but I get into a workflow when I'm working on something, I'm crushing it. And if I go and eat or if I see somebody, don't distract me, don't mess with my sleep. This is, I, I sleep during sleeping time, I work during working time, and if we go and deviate from that, I'm not gonna be able to accomplish things. So I set very rigid boundaries around those activities so people do not disrupt me. So just making sure that you have that intention before you're going into that activity, it'll help you a ton. The next thing that I really, really love, and I'm gonna pull up my screen here in a moment and share it, time blocking, schedule time blocking. You can time block and make things really, really powerful. Coming back into, the timer. I'll set a timer for each task that I do. So I already just turned it on. It's going with whatever activity with my time blocking. I will give myself an hour to call leads. So let's talk about real estate. I'm going to do my prospecting to go through and see if I can find a qualified lead. I give myself an hour to get through as many dials as I possibly can. And in that hour, I take notes. I'm doing everything in that work hour. And then once that hour's up, I give myself five, 10 minutes to go be ADHD and do whatever I want to do. Go outside, stretch, play with my dog grab a drink, whatever it is. And it helps me stay on top of everything. So let's go over to what I use. I actually use the Google Calendar screen here. And I wanna show it to you guys. So we're gonna switch over our screen share. And I already started a little bit, so I was building it. So you guys can see on the screen share on Google, you can come over here and click an activity. And I like to color coordinate it because our brains just pay attention to things more. So let's just say I wanna add in something personal. I'm gonna make this task be, let's see here. I'll do a 30 minute walk and I'm going to add that in there and I'm going to have it repeat. It does not repeat. It actually does. It repeats every week, it repeats daily. Actually, let's see if we can edit it even more. I can do custom. There you go. Every weekday. So now watch when I do this every weekday, I have that walk in there. You can see I already did one with my dog, but I can do those activities and then maybe I'll edit it. Maybe I'll make this follow up with leads. And I'm gonna make it green because it's a money-making activity. So my brain knows it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time because it's probably gonna take me an hour. So we started at 9.30, let's make it go till 10.30, save it. This and following events. Now let's take a look at our calendar. And that helps me identify what's important. The reds are things I cannot miss. The purple is personal time. The green is a money-making activity that I must do so I can keep the lifestyle that I want. And then I'll create a little break in there. The nice thing is I do have my Google calendar notifications that pop up in the top right screen of my computer. And I need to turn it back on on my phone. It was working on my phone for a little bit. I must've turned it off. But using those little alerts help me stay on top of everything just so I don't get, get distracted by what all is going on. So check that out. Google Calendar is for free. You can do all these things for free. I try to not use the alarm on my phone because I will see when people text me. The little handheld alarm timer is really, really good. One of the other things that is really difficult with ADHD is I am super hard on myself. And sometimes I set goals that are too lofty to accomplish in a day. I would say another very important thing, I don't have it with me, but getting a journal. So I have my notebooks that I work with. Write down the three most important tasks that must be completed today. And with that, I would say journal. Every day in the beginning of your day, write down 10 things you're grateful for, three tasks that must be completed, and what you're trying to accomplish. Put it on that calendar, that journal, help you out a ton. I give myself about 15 minutes in the morning to do that. In the evening, I give myself another 15 minutes to complete that journal. What happened today? What should I retain? And I get moving. With ADD, I am so much better when I'm fidgeting. If you guys ever watch me, I'm probably chewing gum or moving my feet. I am always moving with my ADD. So I like to just get after whatever I can in the morning, write down my intentions, practice my gratitudes. It makes me happier. And then I just get to book and I walk my dog for about a 45 minute to an hour long walk, which is really nice. And it helps me out and just getting to the best level. I even have a desk that I can raise so I can walk on my treadmill underneath it. So that helps me function really well. Movement is medicine and I freaking love it. The last thing I'm gonna ask you guys, cause I'm gonna keep this video nice and short. If you would, please like this video, share it with three people you think could find some value. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see me produce more of. And as always, every Thursday at 12 o'clock Arizona time, Michael, Frankie and I are gonna be live on YouTube answering your questions about how to help more homeowners that are going through tough times. So please make sure you're there. And if you wanna connect with me outside of this YouTube, you can message me on Instagram. Boom, you can see it down here on the bottom. That Caroline Kane.
and you guys can see all the stuff I use. I have one monitor, notebook, pen, to help you out, be successful. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what I can do to make your life easier with your ADD, ADHD, and crush it, everybody. Thanks.